It started as a need for just a passion project for myself, um, just because I, I'm one of those people that like to give back to the community. But now it has become so much bigger because like it has helped so many people. Most days you can find Karen Boyle behind the chair at her salon. Her love and passion for all things hair is now being shared with her new three month old 85 pound bundle of joy. Meet Miss Dolly Star. Dolly is a micro mini American white park cow and she's no pet. She's the first of her kind therapy animal. She was meant for this. She really, really was. Even so the breeders in South Dakota and she said from the very beginning, she's like, oh, she is the sweetest calf. She really is a sweet calf. And I'm like, all right, you know, that's what I want. I want a really sweet calf. And she loves it. If you walk past her and you don't recognize her, like if you're like, oh, whatever, she really gets upset. Like she does this whole like, mm, you know, she loves the attention. Early this year, Karen had a close connection to Alzheimer's in her family. She spent some time in a few memory care facilities and saw a need. Karen grew up right here in Arizona on a dairy farm. She quickly realized many of the people she interacted with at the facilities were also involved in ag in their younger years. Karen thought what better way to bring back some of those fond memories than by bringing the farm to the people. I just happened to be walking her and we had a, res a neighbor that his wife had Alzheimer's and has um, grown up on a dairy farm. And she had memories of her childhood that she hasn't had in over six years. And so he was like, you know what, thank you. Today was like the best day ever. And like it literally brings tears to my eyes because like if you can help that one person, it makes everything so much better. Karen, her daughter Ella, and volunteer Hayden Davidson now bring Dolly to memory care facilities about twice a week. I think a lot of people just like to stare at her. I'm going to be honest. Like, she just, there's something about her. They just watch her eat her cud, uh, you know, like, she's just a cute animal. Um, but, you know, they, we bring brushes. They can brush her. They pet her. Um, sometimes we, like, walk kind of together. I love how friendly she is, but... The thing is, she's so friendly, but also she has a fun side. So like, she'll play with me in the backyard and stuff. But then, when it time when it's time to get to her job, she's like super calm and friendly. Well, and there's uh, all kinds of reactions, honestly. Um, is some people get like really excited and they're like, "Is that a cow?" The residents light up when they see Miss Dolly coming through the door. She just moves right in and makes some friends their interactions with it just even brushing um you know miss dolly over there i mean it's just a great it's a great thing for them you know it gives them purpose it takes them back it's it's just something that's really fulfilling for them and then fulfilling for us because we can see the smiles on their faces karen is hoping to continue putting smiles on faces with the help of miss dolly she's also hoping to help keep good memories coming back while creating new ones i don't even know if you can put it into words like I might even start crying because it's just so overwhelming. Like the last couple years have been crazy with COVID, right? And everybody's been sheltered and in their own like little situation. But to go out and somebody just been like, you just made my day, right? Just because I walked a cow down the street. Like we hear it all the time. I took her to the farmer's market and people like literally were like, you just made my day. Okay, that's awesome, right? Like. How great does that feel to make somebody's day? Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News.